everybody, Adam at Flash Building here. And today's lesson is best summed up by this little conversation going on here. And one guy says, I don't have Flash to edit that cool file from my site. And you say, you don't need Flash, because I'm awesome. And I program external configurations into my Flash files. So anybody with WordPad or Notepad can edit them. So I'm going to go by feedback that I get in the form of comments here on YouTube. So if you want to see more after this lesson, if you want to go into XML and PHP and all of that stuff, just say in the comment, yeah, let's go into XML and PHP. Or say, no, this is pretty lame, let's stop it here after this one and move on to something cooler. So please give your feedback in the comment area so I can know what to do next. Okay, here I am in Flash CS3, but you can be in CS4 and it works exactly the same. We use ActionScript 3 file, let's create new and I'm going to pull out a rectangle primitive draw it out to stage and I'm going to get the size on it to be let's make it 200 by 200 and it has even coordinates there and I'm going to right click it well let's first make it gray there it's gray now I'm going to right click it convert to symbol Registration top left is good. Movie clip, let's call it MyBG. That's the instance name we're going to give it as well. So you press OK, and in the instance name area in the properties panel, give an instance name of MyBG. So this object is now a movie clip with the instance name of MyBG. Now inside of it, this is just going to be a very simple demonstration to show you how you can make things selectable to give people options when you're creating files. Maybe to skin things, to make different skins, backgrounds, words, options, everything. So what we'll do here is layer one, right above it, let's create a new layer, insert new layer. Let's go ahead and rename this uh, shape. And this top one, labels. Let's give one more about that and just call it actions. And right there you put a stop action. So you can highlight this keyframe, press F9, or go to Window, Actions, and you type in STOP, open, close parenthesis, semicolon. That's a stop action. That way when we put more frames in here, this thing just won't loop continuously. It'll stop on frame one and then just go to keyframes that it needs to go to when instructed. Okay, now that we have all the layers set in this first one, let's go ahead and highlight that keyframe, go down to the frame label and put in gray, because that's the color of the box there. You see the little flag. Let's extend that out. 10 frames maybe, press F5. You see the word gray on that frame label. On frame 10, let's make another keyframe by pressing F6. Go down to the label, call this one red. Extend out, another keyframe, frame 20, F6. Name this one blue. Now just go to frame 30 and press F5. Extend the frames out. Don't make a new keyframe. That's all we're going to do for this demo. Now, uh, let's go to we can extend these frames out as well by pressing F5 but you don't really need to we'll leave that one on just frame 1 that stop action only needs to be on frame 1 now the shape let's make a new keyframe here on red F6 and then a new keyframe on blue you can extend these out if you want that's not necessary press F5 here here where it says blue just go and change it to blue so it'll have a blue background here you go and change it to red but you can have all kind of imported backgrounds from Photoshop fireworks or illustrator that can be really cool backgrounds skins for your flash applications and let people choose what color they want even if they don't have flash from an easy configuration file alright so that's pretty much set up exactly how we need it now let's drag out a dynamic text field Let's put that on stage. Give it an instance name of owner name 
underscore txt. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer there, a little wider. I'm going to take the edge off, make it not selectable, make it black. And 18, that's good. Single line. Perfect. Put it in place, and the owner's name is going to show there from the external configuration file. Now what we're going to do with this thing is let them size it and color make get the color of the skin of it from the external uh, configuration file. Okay, so now before we put in the view lines of code that's going to call out to the external configuration file, let's go ahead and create the external configuration file. So you can go to Notepad, just get a regular text file going and we're going to type in owner name equals Adam put the ampersand the and symbol and the next variable will be background color and ampersand again and then background what was it, size we wanted to let them? Yeah. Let's let them do size. Is equal to, and I'll explain this in just a sec what we're doing here. Uh, let's say 300. All right. Oh, background color needs to be equal to, let's make it blue. in our flash file they can go to blue and set it to blue if they like okay so in this notepad file what we're gonna do is save this now both of these to the same directory this flash file and this notepad file so they're in the same folder now in this configuration file what we have is a URL encoded string uh, it's sorry it's a URL variable encoded string so that's how you send URL variables into flash and I'm sending owner name which has a value of Adam and I'm sending background color which has a value of blue and I'm sending background size which has a value of 300 and so people who don't have flash can just open this in notepad change this to 500 they can change this to red or the gray whatever options you want to give them and uh, they can change their owner name you can have many more things that they can change it can make the application a little more powerful and easier for people to visually see what they need to edit using XML especially and uh, so that's that file let's save these both now to the same directory file save as just go to the desktop I'm gonna put it in a folder called where was it AS3 TXT config files right there I'm gonna name it config flash I already have one in there I'm just gonna replace it there I'll close that it's ready to go now all we have to do is make flash call out to that and bring those variables in which is very simple okay so we have an instance name on our little object there that we're going to have them able to skin and size and you can see ours is 200 by 200 alright so let's add a new layer above that layer you can rename this one uh, stage elements that's the objects on stage and this one AS3 short for action script 3 highlight that action script 3 layer lock it, highlight it, press F9 and booyah that's how easy it is now let me explain this code real good to you now this is the kind of stuff that advanced flashers use to sell applications to people who don't own flash and know how to make their own things in flash they can sell an application with a configuration file so anybody can use it and adjust it so in the action script let's talk about this real good now um, the first line is setting the URL loader object and a variable name for that 
and inside of the URL loader object we have a new URL request and in the URL request we're calling out to config flash.txt which is the little text file we made in notepad it's living in the same directory if you wanted it living in a different folder you can have a folder called my files slash config flash.txt would be in that folder you set it up like that but this one's going to be in the same directory the same folder as the flash file um, line four is we add an event listener for the complete event when this file is completely read and brought into flash this complete configuration function will fire off will execute so the function complete configuration fires off and we have these five lines which are setting up variables which are going to allow us to access the values of the things inside of that text file so the first line is the URL loader for the event target which is going to be all of the data which is in that string in the text file then we claim a variable for uh, the URL variables because I made a URL encoded variable string with ampersands that uh, separate all the different variables and their values so we claim this variables value for that and uh, or this variables bar for that and then these three are just setting the certain strings we need and the number creating variables to use when we adjust those things on stage so these three lines that's what those do and I'm going to com comment this code out a little bit more before I post it and so yeah so you have your variables and they're all set at this point with these five lines all the three variables that we want from that file are set up right here and ready to be printed or used in our code okay yeah so these four lines apply those variables to the things in your file so what we do here in the first one in the owner name dot text field that's on stage or the owner name underscore txt the dynamic text field we put in the owner name and then the background my bg which is this item its width is going to be set to the BG size which is coming in it's the background size right there and that's set to 300 I think in the config file but ours is 200 you can you'll see when I render the file how would it be bigger than it is now the size will be adjusted by what they pick in the config file so my BG dot go to and stop BG color is how we skin this thing so if we want to give it let them pick the skin color you saw how we created this inner timeline for that it's gonna to shoot to that red frame label I think they picked red no blue we put blue in the config file so it's gonna shoot right there it's gonna be a blue background let's test it out so that's all the code fully explained and if you have any hang-ups about how this is doing what it's doing just come to the forums at develop PHP and ask a question and one of us will try and get you an answer okay so now let's go ahead and just save this flash file to that same folder and we'll be in business and we can test it file save as there it is let's just overwrite that old one I was playing with earlier press control enter you see put my name in made the box blue 300 by 300 wildly different from what we have here that's because you're letting somebody else externally configure it so every time at runtime when it goes it'll uh, show what they want I'll show you a demonstration let me go and open that that text file okay here's that config file let's go ahead and make this red let's make this 100 change the name it's Mr. Doofus control save or control s or you can go to file save and once it's saved 
you go back into Flash and you press Control Enter. Look at that, Mr. Doofus. Nice little tiny box, 100 with a 100, and it's red. So that's how it's done. Like I said, if you would like to see more all about this kind of stuff, so this file will be available at developphp.com in the Flash tab here. Click Flash, Adobe Flash right there at Develop PHP, and you go to the section. I'm going to have it in uh, maybe working with other external files and data. It'll probably be in this one here. And you can download it, man. Okay. So like I said, you guys let me know if you want to go further and see more examples of how to get the XML and PHP config files going for yourself and even more dynamics if you want to go deeper and deeper and deeper we'll get into MySQL rendering out config files okay have a happy day